While Ripley and the Marines struggled for survival against the army of alien warriors on the LV-426 colony during their mission, amidst all their problems would arise Carter Burke, a Wayland yutani representative. Not only would it be revealed that Burke was responsible for the alien infestation by sending out colonists to the derelict ship, but it's discovered Burke was conspiring against the group to bring back an alien specimen to the company, at the cost of the lives of all others involved. In a final act of betrayal, Burke would go on to cowardly abandon the group of survivors during the alien attack in the Operations Center, and locking a door that could lead to an escape route. Unbeknownst to him, an alien had found its way to the area, and he is attacked, presumed to have been killed by the Xenomorph. However, as depicted in the film's script, novelization, comic adaptation, and even deleted footage, it would seem that Burke's story would not end there. During Ripley's infiltration of the alien hive in her attempt to find and rescue Newt, she would first encounter Burke, who is confined to a cocoon, suffering with an alien embryo implanted inside him, begging for death. As it's noted in the Aliens Illustrated screenplay, Cameron's screenplay clearly indicates that the cocooned Burke scene was originally to have begun right after Ripley drops a marker flare during her search for Newt. It then would have ended just before Ripley discovers Newt's discarded locator bracelet. Flashing emergency lights illuminate the insane fresco of the walls. She spins, firing the flamethrower. Nothing there. She moves forward. The locator signal strengthens as she turns, crouches through a low passage, turns again. At each intersection, she quickly lights a 15-minute marking flare and drops it for the way back. She has to turn sideways, inching through a fissure between two walls of death. Cocoon niches, human base relief sealed in resin. Suddenly something shoots out, grabbing her. A hand. She recovers, then recognizes the face sealed in the wall. Carter Burke. Burke. Ripley, help me. I can feel it. Inside. Oh God, it's moving. Oh God. She looks at him. No one deserves this. Ripley. Here. She hands him a grenade wrapping his fingers around the spoon and pulls the primer. She moves on. Moments after this exchange, Burke's fate would finally be sealed in an explosion heard off-screen as Ripley continues her search for Newt. In the comic book Newt's Tale, which in its latter half serves as an adaptation of Aliens, the exchange between the two is prolonged just a little bit more, and its placement in the course of events is also a little bit different. In this version, Ripley finds Newt first, rescues her from the impending facehugger attack, and is about to escape with Newt when Burke calls out to her and is revealed to be cocooned. Burke begs for help, but Ripley informs him at this point she would not be able to help him, as it's clear to her that the xenomorph impregnation has already taken place. Ripley tells him, I can't help you, Burke, not now, but you can still help yourself. At which point she hands him the grenade. Burke is hesitant to set it off, saying he can't do it, and Ripley leaves with Newt as Burke pleads with Ripley to come back. Once the chaos with the showdown against the Queen ensues, it's unclear if at any point Burke decided to set off the grenade, or if he died from the alien chestburster inside him, or simply died within the eventual destruction of the planet. Either way, it would seem to be an appropriate enough fate for Burke, suffering the same nightmare he put hundreds of colonists through though this scene would more so highlight Ripley's compassion, even for a treacherous character such as Burke. Oddly enough, while the 1991 special edition of Aliens, which has restored a great deal of originally missing footage, never included this moment in any released version of the film, though the footage was filmed and made available as a special feature on the Blu-ray release of the movie. While the scene could have originally been omitted for general pacing concerns, James Cameron has went on to say that one of the reasons it was ultimately left out of the film was the general logic of the timing of the events, from Burke's capture to Ripley encountering him, keeping the life cycle of the alien into consideration and the time embryo implantation takes place. It would have been much more likely that, after such a short period of time, a facehugger still would be attached to Burke and still gestating the embryo, which is sound enough logic on Cameron's part. Still, Burke's fate in the Alien Hive remains one of the most talked about deleted scenes from the Alien films and one of the most interesting. Even with Cameron's reasoning, would you still like to see this scene restored and included in a future special edition cut of the film? Or are you fine with it staying on the cutting room floor? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to this channel for more videos on the Alien Universe. If there's a subject you'd like to see explored here, please don't hesitate to comment below with your suggestion and let me know. 
Follow Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and Alien Theory YT on Facebook for more. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off. <laughs>